Broncos look at the numbers. There's no line in those totals. And Lillard gets double teamed. Here's Hodges. Second chance shot. Passes shot. Good. Pass has got a second bucket tonight. Uh, how about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. One fifteen left in the third quarter of the game. Thomas sets a screen for Hill. Six on the shot clock. Tries it from 19. And that one hits back iron. The Blazers on offense. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Bass can't get it to go. Indiana's gone to the three point shot eight times already in the second half and hit four of them. Feeds it to Hill. There's 38 seconds left in the third quarter. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. When you're hot, you're hot. And that's certainly been the case for the general. He's got 30 points and just an amazing performance from downtown. He is pouring it in from three guys. You know how much I love to see guys knocking down buckets. Jason Smith, he's checked in for the trail buckets. Davis comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. Indiana also making some changes. Miritich has checked in for Lance Thomas. And it's C.J. Miles in for George Hill. Ellis outside. Pass to Carpenter. Tries it from the top of the key. That's short off the rim. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that... All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. They've got Brandon Bass, Damian Lillard out there with Hodges, and it's Smith, and it's Davis in at the four-man position. That's the group on the floor for Portland. That's what I call a captivating move there. He absolutely incinerated the D with that one. Lillard with it. With the teardrop, it's tipped, and it's out of bounds as the Portland Trailblazers retain possession. Adams, he's checked in for Portland. Steven Adams. On the wing, Davis, covered by Miritich. Four on the clock. Lillard misses. They shoot again, and Davis lays it in. And the Trailblazers lead by two. Very nice pickup of the offensive rebound. And once he gets his hands on it, you know it's going back up and back in. Here's the general, covered by Lillard. No good from Carpenter. And this is why you need good defenders on the interior to contest shots. Yeah, Greg, making every shot a hard one, even the shots in close. And the foul called on Freak. That's his first foul. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Aminu's checked in. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. And Hodges kicks to Lillard. Just four to shoot. Buries the 20-footer. Lillard's got 40 points. The, the defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow, what a game. Here's the general, covered by Lillard. Puts it up from 12. Lillard with the rebound. Well, I think he shouldn't have forced that one. Instead, he should have passed it off. Hodges the pass to Lillard. Too open that time. Made it look too easy. Lillard's got 11 in the second half. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. And it's Portland with the rebound. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. And now the fast break. George with the ball. It'll go. The Portland That's lead is cut down to just three on the basket from Carpenter. The Generals got 36. For Portland, they've gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. They swipe it. And he now has a five. Oh! Oh! And guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, 
Moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. And that one's good. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the Pacers? We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. And I mean, who kicks to Lillard? That's good. Big time bucket there, and you can expect to see him stay very involved the rest of the way. Indiana's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Got that one up quick. The Generals got 44. They're getting a bunch of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. The defense is just not closing out quick enough. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, over the break, I listened in on what Terry Stotts had to say in his huddle. He's looking for whatever they have left in the tank. He said, I know it's been a hard-fought game, but now's not the time to leave anything in reserve. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I expect you to be going all out with full speed. Guys? Unbelievable. This guy is completely in a zone. And he knows it. You can see it. The body language, the confidence. Real swagger out there for him. And I just kicks to Lillard. Indiana moving the ball around. George passes to Carpenter. Kicks it to Miritich. Just five to shoot. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That's on Al Farouk Kaminu. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. And Lillard gets double teamed. And Hodges kicks to Aminu. Now here's Lillard. Tight defense on him. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Yeah, you, you've got to avoid those kinds of turnovers. Yeah, mistakes like that derail any team. Turner dishes to George. Here's the general. Move the ball. Stick it to the And the layup falls. The general's got 48. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Another steal. And up the court come the Pacers on the break. And the basket good. George has got the lead up to seven now for the Pacers. The fast break opportunities do not get any easier than that one off the steal. Exactly. The defense really no chance to get back. To the paint, here's Willard, and it's sent back by George. Look at what Aminu has done so far. He has nine rebounds and a pair of blocks to go along with those. And he's been standing tall when they need him. Hill, he's checked in for Turner. And he can't hit the second. Indiana leading by six. Passes it to Carpenter. D from Lillard. For Portland, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Aminu, the pass to Lillard. That's tipped. Here is Hodges, covered by Miritich. And Hodges kicks to Lillard. Just four to shoot. Here's the general. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Aminu's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Over to the left wing. And Adams kicks to Lillard. Hits the three-point bomb. Lillard's got 49 points in the game. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. Here's the general covered by Lillard. To the middle, here's Carpenter. And Davis pulls it down. 
Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. And Hodges kicks to Lillard to tie it up. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. He's been much more effective in the second half than he was in the first. Miles the pass to Carpenter. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. The Generals got 51. Trailblazers trail by three. Davis sets a screen. Fast break, here we go. And it's Myers with the jam. And Kevin, maybe the play of the game right there. A tremendous instinct straight to come up with a steal and then attack the basket. Game changer right there, guys. An unbelievable play to make at this stage of a really tight ball game. And Portland making a change here. Thurman. And Lillard kicks to Davis. Hill gets the rebound. Hill's got his fourth rebound in this one. George passes to Carpenter. Jacks up a three. Portland grabs the miss. Lillard's got nine rebounds now tonight. Davis sets a screen. Pass to Hodges. Davis with a screen on George. Five on the clock. Here's Hodges. The rebound by Carpenter. The General's got his seventh rebound here tonight. A three ball. The shot is off. Now Portland takes it the other way. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter. Lillard, the pass to Hodges. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Hodges has got five points now this quarter. Now is not the time to be giving him that kind of shot. Here's the general, covered by Lillard. The shot's good for Burton. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taken advantage of a really tired defense. All right, I want everyone to get a laser dancers. And here's the fast break. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. That couldn't have gone better for him. Forget about playing it safe. They're looking to finish it off in style, and I like that type of aggressiveness. And, and I got to say, it, Clark, I didn't expect them to play it that way. I mean, a great steal, and then to put the pedal to the metal. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lillard. I'll tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. On offense, here are the Pacers. They've gone in a 10 to one not allowing much. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Pacers. You know, Clark, when you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooters. So you said it all there, Kevin. They were lethal from behind the arc. And on the year, this will turn out to be win number 34 for them. Boy, I like the way they responded and made adjustments from their first meeting this year, which they lost, and came out tonight with a mission to... Oh! oh. Yeah, what I that thought. one will seal the deal there. They've exploded here at the end. Boy, I love the serious killer instinct they've shown. Finishing strong. Lillard misses. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. And George, here we go. And the Pacers tack on two more. And the fans already... Heading for the exits, clearly not pleased with the way things turned out today. Well, Greg, this was a well-deserved win. I mean, they came into this building and acted like it was their home turf. I mean, they were the ones calling the shots and controlling everything. Carpenter passes to George. From deep three-point range, can't get it to fall. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they... Nice. 